Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers! Hey, maybe we should ask you Bliss! Mind readers? That's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, The Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Biv is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the Commissioner. The Commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, Commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The Commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the Blister of Tranquility. Oh boy! I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines! Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon! Feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? Where are we headed now, Sam? Let's stay here a while longer. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? Help me out with something. Sure. Never mind. What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight! My feet are killing me. That may be, but we can't press charges unless we catch him in the act. I miss the old days, when our cases were less thinking and more shooting stuff. Luckily, my short-term memory makes me impervious to nostalgia. Random but innocuous comment. Irreverent reply that hints at mental instability. You crack me up, little buddy. Never mind. That's quite a rocket engine. It's a lunar lander. So is my Aunt Tilly, but they can't prove anything. The door's locked. Hey, the keys are locked inside. So many of us are like that. Lunar lander.
what's supposed to go here? These hypnotic goggles were an early prototype of the hypnobeam technology currently being used to further the worldwide goals of prismatology. Wow! Invisible goggles! The goggles were stolen a few months ago. Honestly, some people will take anything that's not bolted to the floor. <coughs> These look oddly familiar. What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Big deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm. Yeah, a wrench is close enough. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see, uh, indestructible magical talisman. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it! You might break it! Oops, it's not held down very securely. It looks like cheap touristy crap is the same everywhere in the solar system. Can we get some cheap touristy crap, Sam? No. What kind of currency do they use on the moon? Junkets. How appropriate. Spellbinding. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. Of course. Oh-ho! What's this? I knew you were up to something. Ruining my career with the Toy Mafia wasn't enough. Now you want to cost me this job, too? It must have fallen into my pocket while I was looking at your beautiful ceiling architecture. What, Mafia? Don't try that again, or I'll have to get ugly. I guess a lot of people have done it already. Yes, but I always... Hey! Well, well. Aren't you Teddy Bear? Once upon a time, but no longer. Who are you now? I've gone back to being Harry Mole Man. Or should I say I've gone forward? Prismatology has helped me find a new me where the old one used to be. Are you still a notorious criminal? Or an obscure one, like Kevin Mitnick? No, I've repostulated my lemma since Prismatology found me. It's the straight and narrow for Harry Mole Man from here on out. You seem shorter than you used to. I used to use that exoskeleton, but prismatology has taught me that size doesn't matter. Color does! Harry Mole Man will never be sensitive about being diminutive again! Or about referring to himself in the third person, apparently. Didn't you explode? Only in the spiritual sense. Prismatology helped me put Harry Mole Man back together again. Looks like it may have left out a few pieces by mistake. Well, I guess it's nice to see you again. Actually, I'm still a little sore that he tried to get you to shoot me last time we saw him. I'm channeling my saturation towards making amends for my past transgressions. Prismatology has taught me- Yeah, yeah, we get it. So what are you doing here? I monitor the visitor's center and answer people's questions. Security guard, huh? Docent! I'm a docent! What sights should we see while we're here on the moon? Have you seen the lunar lander over there? We passed by it, yes. How about the blister of tranquility? Nope. Oh, well, goodness. You should definitely see that. Which way to the blister of tranquility? Enlightenment is the only way to reach the blister of tranquility. How about we enlighten your skull a little? Would that work? The blister is through that little box right over there. Seen Hugh Bliss around here lately? To see the master, I need only search my heart. I meant see him in the traditional fashion. No, he's usually in the blister these days. Seen Hugh Bliss around here lately? No. See you later. We've got important sightseeing to do. Great! 
really should work on securing this thing better. One moment, please. Uh -huh. I have no idea how that keeps winding up in there. Don't get cute. Too late. Help me out with something. Sure. I can't exactly say why, but I feel a strange urge to take that display case from the visitor center. In that case, you'd better bone up on your smuggling techniques. Help me out with something. Sure. I yearn to blast off in that lunar lander, but the keys are locked inside. Does AAA service extend to the moon? Somehow I doubt it. Never mind. It really should work on securing this thing better. Here, Max, hold this. I meant in your hands, but whatever. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Could I have that display case you ate? Can you wait 12 to 72 hours? I'd rather not. What's with the chart? I bet it shows how Justin Timberlake is descended from the moon people. This chart outlines Hugh Bliss's ingenious master plan to hypnotize everyone on Earth through connections with the U.S. government, the Internet, and the Toy Mafia. Well, I was close. Weren't you in charge of the Toy Mafia? You're right, I was. I wonder why I didn't know anything about this at the time. One moment, please. Okay, go ahead. Oh look, there's a slightly beat up robotic exoskeleton in the trash. The past is only useful as fertilizer for the future. Hugh Bliss said that. I think that's a satellite. Somebody left a footprint here in the dust. My foot's bigger! Hey, Small Worlds, it's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Favorite? That'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologist may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? What am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Harder. Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him Horny. You do that. How does that unicorn work anyway? By magic, sir. Right. Either that or it's just a glorified mood ring that reacts to body heat. A mood horn? You're not a believer, sir. I could never explain it to you. Forget the mood horn. Let us in. Not until you're level red, sir. 
You're studying this prismatology too? Not studying. I've mastered it. You mastered prismatology by standing in front of a door? I am one with the door. We exist in the indigo wavelength of reality. The door is an illusion. This prismatology nonsense really works for you? That's right. Happiest I've ever been. Hugh Bliss is great. I'm sorry. I'm gushing. President Max requires an audience with Hugh Bliss. I can't let just anyone into the retreat. Orders? Well, as your president, here's your new order. Move it! I'm now a citizen of Bliss, sir. I can't let you in. What about loyalty to your president? Let us in. Hugh Bliss showed me the folly of independent nations. Plus, the benefits are better. Full medical and dental. So long, Super Bowl. Nope, his horn's still not turning red. Hello, Super Bowl. So long, Super Bowl. Hey, Super Bowl, want to look at my unicorn? Have you achieved level red yet? No. Then no. Hey, Max, want to pet the unicorn? No, thanks. I took care of that before we left the office. No parking between the hours of 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. Dust preservation area. Please stay on marked paths. Picnickers, please do not use craters for waste disposal. Whoops! Buzz, we got tired of waiting, so we went on without you. Meet you back at the orbiter. Only you can prevent moon fires. Warning, wild lunar yaks have been sighted in this area. If you encounter a wild lunar yak, try to make yourself look large, then shriek like a schoolgirl and hightail it for the hills. Dust preservation area. Please stay on marked paths. Help me out with something. Sure. I'm not sure how to get this unicorn to turn red. If embarrassment doesn't work, I'd try heat. Never mind. I don't want to kill Horny. Hey, Harry. Want to rub my unicorn? No, I'm not that desperate yet. Where are we headed now, Sam? Terra Firma. Impeach President Max. U.S. out of the Dakotas. Toast, the musical. I heard Keanu Reeves was good in that. You know, I really believed he was a toast. Lost cat, Musty. Sybil has the worst luck with pets. She's behind that desk all day. She never gets a chance to walk them. Sunday at the Terror Dome. Big spanky Devlin makes a death-defying leap over 12 flaming school buses filled with robotic sharks. He beat your record, Max. Yeah, but he uses a motorcycle. Secret serve ice cream? I don't think that's fooling anyone. Ooh, ice cream? I want some! Lefties is empty again. Except for the lingering stench, of course.
dead end. Just think, Lefty never would have had to set up shop here if his car just had a reverse gear. We should take public transportation more often, Max. Somehow, we always get a train to ourselves. Liver and onions have been headed towards a nasty breakup for years. I hope we remembered to put enough postage on all those presidential pardons. Help me out with something. Sure. Never mind. rare Yukon ice cactus. He's got the glassy-eyed glare of a prismatology inductee. Relax, eh? Sorry, too busy. Knuton's balls. It's probably a direct line to the highest offices of power in Ottawa. Her Royal Majesty, civil pandemic. A tiki which in the ancient language of the Canadians means, look at me, I'm just ahead. The rare Yukon ice cactus. All we need is a tattoo of a snake eating a porcupine while saying, I love you, mom. Skin art. Every time this blows my fur, I have a strange urge to schedule a glamor photo shoot. A tiki, which in the ancient language of the Canadians means, look at me, I'm just ahead. Reassuringly unreassuring. Diploma Mill College. Try our new drive through postdoctorate program. These must be Canadian newspapers. I never realized how boring newspapers would be without guns. Nothing special. Somewhere a cloth car is missing a bumper. My nose is already sufficiently blown. Along with your chance to take Melanie Prendergast to the prom. But who's counting? I once waited in line for 12 hours just to see him roar. It's locked. What a senseless waste. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max but we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people! You feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. Yeah, the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no! But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spell color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yes, yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. If you're Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. 
What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. Sam, how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. Hey, Sybil. Want to rub my unicorn? We have people who do that sort of thing for us now. Help me out with something. Sure. Never mind. One way. Good to see the cars just take that as a suggestion instead of a hard rule. I'm worried about Mr. Spatula. He hasn't been home for days. When this case is over, we should start a more fashion-forward news collection. It's the President's Sophisticated Budget Allocation System. We store our waste here for safekeeping. Good for holding up phones and that's about it. Yo, Jimmy, this is Benny Threenies from Researches and Development. The boys in the lab says they ain't got nothing that'll get rid of a dog and a bunny all quick and subtle-like. Best use can do is rig the answering machine to shock them when they play the Thoid message. Hello, Mr. President. The Prime Minister of Pipantistan has announced that you have once again dishonored his country, and he demands satisfaction. He'll be waiting, pistol drawn, in the usual place. Uh, hello, uh, Sam? Uh, this is Sybil. I think I'm prego, and uh, you're the responsible party, see? Sybil must have a cold or something. No kidding! Did she say she thought she was a jar of spaghetti sauce? Hello, Wanda? Sell! Sell! I didn't know you had a stockbroker. That's the Sunflower Scout troop I'm sponsoring. Little loafers don't appreciate the gravity of cookie season. I saw what you did. Keep the payments coming and nobody has to find out. Yeah, okay. Love you too, Mom. Just me, Max, and the Speed Pickle. The moon was a lot nicer when it was still hard to get to. It's the President's sophisticated budget allocation system. The street seems quiet. Too quiet. I always suspected Hubert would run off one day. His wanderlust was too great. Looks like the donut mold civilization left us for parts unknown. I hope it's Alpha Centauri! And look! They left a bear claw! Roadkill for the month? The endangered Point Arena Mountain Beaver. Just yards away from a wildlife preserve. Better luck next time, little guy. I need to get that VCR to either the shop or the exorcist. Every time I pop in a tape, it demands a blood sacrifice. What color is your favorite dream? Page 24. Here's an oldie but a goodie. 
How many licks does it take to get to the center of your true bliss? Page 325. Emetics by Hugh Bliss. Read it today. President Max thought the desk in the Oval Office was too showy. The first thing Max and I ever bought together, well, that wasn't loaded anyway. We had to clean out the cabinet to make room for Max's impeachment files. I don't even want to look at that case again. Well, what do you know? The crucial piece of evidence in the Hudson River Merman Strangler case. I'll have to remember to file that once we're done with this case. Anybody home? Guess not. The virtual reality goggles we used to destroy the internet. Now all those poor bloggers have to stand on street corners telling passing strangers what TV shows they like to watch. Sure, he was a wooden puppet designed to hypnotically enslave the world's populace, but he still seemed like he'd be fun to have a beer with. The fro behind Brady Culture's unfashionable hypnosis plot. The bear that terrorized a TV station. Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Let me rephrase that. What have you been feeding him? You know, bits of string, leftover screws, random scraps of paper I find lying around the office. This morning I fed him something that said, Deed to the United States of America. Look tasty. One of these days I've got to remember to clip those nails. File cabinet or feng shui nightmare? Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. That's where Max has been filing all the reports he gets from the EPA. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way. Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meter. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean, we, White Rabbit? Hey, Jimmy, want to touch my unicorn? Eat it! No, just touch it. Bam! President and assistant destroy internet. Assistant? Reality 2.0, up and coming new internet sensation. The newspapers are always a little behind in their technology coverage. Well, I'll be. The gumball machine actually contains gumballs. Every time I look at that, I feel an accident coming on. Hey, boss. Oh, dear God. Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. It, it, it... He's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Guys, it's me, Bosco. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good point. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We were only... You just cost yourself dessert, mister. So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max. You take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line, pal. Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. We want to buy something. Did you finish all your chores? Yes. Okay, you can get one thing. One. 
What do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker. And it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> you crazy, fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the crazy one? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. One earthquake maker, barkeep. That'll be a hundred trillion, please. <clears throat> if you keep making that face, it's gonna stay that way. But my face is always like this. See what I mean? Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. Do you have any video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm-hmm. What? No way! Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Do you have any three-foot by two-foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm-hmm. What? I can't believe this! Do you have any instant win cheat codes for Reality 2.0? Mm-hmm. Oh, why didn't we ask before? Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm-mm. Uh... Hey, I was on a roll. Never mind. You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels. And we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money. So how'd you like to buy something from us for a change? Okay. Do you have any... copies of the uncensored 1982 Armand Asante lookalike contest on Betamax? Nope. Oh well, that's the only thing I really need, honey. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. Hey, Bosco. Wanna rub my unicorn? <gasps> hey, scratch and sniff lottery tickets. Zazzle and Fib. It's getting hard to find copyrightable character names these days. Pointless puzzles. Probably about adventure games. Judge and jury. It's getting hard to find copyrightable character names these days. Time flies when you're saving the world. Big smokes guarantee the biggest tumors. Yep, still a garbage can. I'm entranced by the gentle oscillation of the hot weenies. Chimps. 80% crushed! Damn the paparazzi. That coffee takes me back to that time we were in France. Behind enemy lines, crawling through miles of neck-deep black sludge. And what was the name of that enemy interrogator? Jean-Luc. Jean -Luc. Sludgies. This week's flavors, castor oil and Brussels sprouts. The latest in making stuff hot technology. I know one way to get horny hot. Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow! I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist! Still red. I think he liked it, though. And frankly, so did I. Nachos. So tasty, you'll almost believe it's real food. The three essential food groups. Oldest marketing trick in the book. Someday, we're gonna get that baby back up to extreme.
That's cute. Max couldn't help but write his name in the snow. I hear Bosco's got the second largest tongue collection in the greater metro area. Guaranteed to contain at least 10% actual juice. Help me out with something. Sure. I need a hundred trillion dollars. Pity we already sold your baseball card collection to buy that kidney for your Uncle Rollo. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted it for. Help me out with something. Sure. I still need a hundred trillion dollars. What if we sold your body to science? I was hoping to be buried in it. Well, I'm sure we've got something else of value lying around the office somewhere. Never mind. Hey, Bosco, want to rub my unicorn? <gasps> a much better deal than his half off if you pay twice promotion. In. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous! <laughs> You're a good man. Bravo! Bravo! Outstanding! Yeah. Outstanding! You're awesome! Oh, thanks, yeah. This guy really knows how to work a room! Keep up the great work, everyone! I'm tickled pink! Ha <laughs> ha! An entire planet of prismatologists! It's like a dream! The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right, the best kind! P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you! Mr. Spatula, so this is where you've been. We were worried sick. Couldn't you at least have left a note? Yeah, uh, sorry, Sam. He sent us an email. <laughs> I meant to tell you. No siree. Look, Max, it's the giant stone head of your old opponent, Abraham Lincoln. Welcome, brethren, to the blister of... Oh, it's you two. Not so tough without your fancy giant robot body, are you? I can still bite off your fluffy little... Uh, I mean... Let me help you, brother, to overcome the orange of confrontation and bathe in the yellow of peace and brotherhood. 
bathe in the yellow? Just what kind of camp is this? Is prismatology teaching you anything? I'm working to master the miraculous power of gastrokinesis. You can teleport Cuban dictators? Well, yes, but now I'm working on gastrokinesis. The ability to make anyone throw up with my mind. Max and I are always looking for new ways to make people throw up. Teach us. Please. As it is now, I can make people vomit with every part of my body except my mind. Well, if you are a true prismatologist, I suppose I'm obliged to help you. But there's a problem. I accidentally swallowed the gastrokinesis talisman. Sam, is that ironic or sarcastic? It's pretty damned inconvenient. Can't you make yourself throw up the gastrokinesis talisman? I haven't thrown up since 1863, right after I gave the Gettysburg Address. I was kind of nervous that day. I didn't have anything prepared. You're not still bitter about the election, are you? Or your public humiliation? Or the cruise missile that blew your body to tiny wig bits? Election? Heck no. Being president is for chumps. Only a grade-A sociopathic masochist would want that thankless job. Grade-A? <laughs> I'm flattered. Why the long marble face? Because you two made me lose something more valuable than an election. My one chance at true love. This is all happening so fast, I don't know what to say. Not you, moron. I'm talking about that radiant vision of beauty you had interrupt my family value speech. You mean Sybil? Is that her name? Sybil? It's like a chorus of angels. Aren't you married? What about Mary, your mannish but devoted wife? Why don't you find a nice giant statue of her? Settle down and start cranking out little bouncing baby war memorials. There are none left. Lady Bird Johnson had all graven images of former first ladies destroyed during the Great Enlightenment of 1963. How can you expect to have a complete relationship with someone when you're, well, missing some key subneck accoutrements? What? How are you gonna make time with the ladies, AL? You're just ahead! Obviously, you two never read Cosmo. We can give you Sybil's phone number so you can set up a date. I haven't dated in over 150 years. I wouldn't know what to say. Phone, Max. Hello. If you'd like to make a love connection, press or say hell yeah now. Just follow my lead, Mr. Lincoln. Hello? Sybil Pandemic speaking. Uh, hi. It's Abraham Lincoln. Oh, you've got some nerve calling after how you treated me. Wait, don't hang up. I got needs, baby. I may be made of stone, but your love is my chisel. <laughs> that old line. You don't even know me. Let's try calling Sybil again. Hello? Hi, it's Abe again. You know chemistry, because I'm having an explosive reaction. The formula? Lincoln plus Sybil equals ecstasy. Hmm. If you think I'm that gullible, you don't know me at all. Let's try calling Sybil again. Hello? Hi, it's Abe again. I'm issuing you a Romancipation Proclamation. Let's set aside our differences and commence on the reconstruction. Hmm, call me back in four score and seven years. Let's try calling Sybil again. Hello? Hi, it's Abe again. Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Woman, you got a body that just won't quit. That may have worked in the 1800s, Abe, but 
it just shows how little you know me. Girl, you got tighter curves than a NASCAR track. What? Who talks like that? I can't wait to Honest, you're really hot. I can't wait to go on double dates with you and your sister. Oh yeah? Well... Hello. The rest of this conversation has been blocked by FCC regulations. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? Uh, all right. Damn. Oh well, you're pretty foxy yourself, and I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? We'll find us a Martian babe and show her it takes three to tango. Aliens are so four months ago, Abe. If you knew me, you'd have realized that. Threat. We'll pull out some needles and ink, and I'll give you something to remember me by. Maybe if it were six months ago, Abe. I've matured past that now. Oh, rats. We'll get alone together, stretch out on the couch, and share parts of ourselves we never knew we had. Psychotherapy? Yawn. I'm afraid we just don't have enough in common. Shoot. So long, Mr. Lincoln. Help me out with something. Sure. I feel sorry for animatronic Abe Lincoln's disembodied head. How can I get him a date with Sybil? Girls like it if you seem to know everything about them. Make clever references to their favorite things and so on. How on earth would you know that? I read. Never mind. Hello, Mr. Rail Splitter Head. Let's try calling Sybil again. Hello? Hi, it's Abe again. Just relax, baby. Think positive, and Lincoln gonna make it all better. Hmm. Well, I do believe in proper relaxation. Maybe you have changed. Lady, you a stone cold fox. Seriously? All right. Damn! Oh, well, you're pretty foxy yourself. And I happen to love foxes. All right, maybe I'll give you another chance. If we go out on a date, what do you want to do? I figure we watch a hockey game, have a couple of beers, get some poutine. You know, the usual. Oh, Abe. I never knew you had such a deep appreciation for my culture. It all sounds wonderful. Come over as soon as you can. Was that... Did she actually say yes? Hello! You just totally scored! Thank you! Congratulations, Mr. Lincoln. Oh my gosh. What if she wants to get serious? I can't do this! I'm so nervous I've got butterflies! I have to ask. Where? Stand back, Max. Wherever they are, I have a feeling they're coming back up. Oh, I don't feel so good. What if she... and I can't... Oh, man. And here I thought our trip to the moon was going to be boring. Max, be a sport and pick that up for me. Not a chance. Hey, Lincoln, can I take this? I'm not sure why you'd want to use the power of prismatology to make people throw up, but go ahead. I've got more important things to worry about. Hey, Lincoln, want to rub my unicorn? Never mind. Hey, it's that display case. Thanks, little pal. Aw, oh, I was saving that! For what? 
It's complicated, but it has to do with my personal vendetta against a certain major coffee house chain. Is the rainbow supposed to be going in or coming out? I think it depends on which way you're facing. I think that's the biggest, meanest looking spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. I never understand modern art. I just hope this thing doesn't sing. Hey Max, is that our bug? Hey Max, is that our bug? He still got it! Thank you! You're a prismatologist too? Yes I am! I'm so happy I could do rainbows! Rainbows! Uh, we'll just keep our distance then. I'm not particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. No way. Hello, sir. Don't bug me! They have sharks and the blister of tranquility? All devoted practitioners are welcome. Look, Max, it's our obsolete computer pals, the cops. They don't sound very happy to see us. You destroyed Reality 2.0. Destroy! Remember your bliss. Adopt a more positive attitude now. Is Prismatology teaching you anything? That one's my favorite. It sounds like he's always cursing. That is because he is. We're learning the most powerful skill of them all. The power to see within ourselves to become the best we can be. How does one go about seeing within oneself? Use of magical quanta required for bootstrap procedure. Come again? Four machines must learn to look within their leaden shells to find the answers within. One fabulous magical talisman makes it all possible. This week only. Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! Powerful! We're sorry that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. Could we borrow your magical talisman? Never! We're all powerful! We're sorry that power is currently in use. We're working hard to create an unbeatable AI. We apologize for any inconvenience. What are you computers doing here on the moon? Prismatology has restored our sense of purpose. After you destroyed Reality 2.0, we banded together to make a newer, even better game. Coming soon. It will rock your world! You came to a private retreat on the moon to work on something as insubstantial as a video game? Not just any game. We are creating the most advanced AI in history. In a world where two forces battle for domination of a war-torn landscape, only one will draw the line and reign supreme. Do you get to shoot stuff? It's not a good game until you get to shoot stuff! Thank you for your feedback. We will incorporate shooting into version 2.0. Let's hear that motivational song of yours again. Why, Sam? Why? You Bliss has taught us we no longer need self-hyphen reinforcement. We have look inside ourselves. And we totally rock! What made you turn to prismatology? It's kind of a long story. That just about sums it up. It's just like I was there! How's life on the moon treating you? A dusty wasteland in the cold of space. A shining oasis in the dark. One brilliant leader. This spring you'll believe in the triumph of the computerized spirit. Plus we get free snacks. I hunger! What are you guys going to do once you're done with prismatology? Online distribution. It's going to be huge. 
Okay, Max and I'll try out this video game of yours. Prepare to suffer extreme humiliation! The year is 2048. In a post-apocalyptic galaxy run by giant corporations, you are a cybernetically enhanced space marine with no memory of his past. Are you the chosen one foretold by prophecy? Do you have the strength to survive? Tick! Tick! Doom! Vengeance is mine! I will destroy you! I am invincible! You cannot defeat me! Actually, I just kinda did. Yeah, Roar. By your calculations, your chances of winning were 1 in 10 trillion. The sun was in my eyes! Thank you for playing Tic Tac Doom. We'll continue to look within ourselves and improve our award-winning AI to make it even more challenging. It was too short, and not hard enough. I want my money back! Please try again later. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Own! Death to infidels! Get a lot of this move! This cannot be! I'm bored, Sam. I want to go outside and play! Your artificial intelligence requires adjustment. Our brother will continue to look within himself to improve. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! Fear me! You will fail! Fear me! That's four out of five! Our brother will continue to look within himself to improve. Please try again later. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! I will destroy you! You will fail! Vengeance is mine! I will destroy you! Next time! Please try again later. Help me out with something. Sure! I won at Tic-Tac-Doom, but it didn't do any good. Winning isn't everything, Sam. Never mind. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tic-Tac-Doom! Get a lot of this move! Death to infidels! Owned! I am invincible! I will destroy you! Next time! Please try again later. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! I will destroy you! Vengeance is mine! I am invincible! Owned! Get a lot of this move! You cannot defeat me! Please try again later. Hey, cops. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have the strength to survive? Tick, tack, doom! You will fail! Fear me! Death to infidels! I will destroy you! Fear me! You are destroyed! Oh darn, you beat me fair and square. Good game. I totally beat you guys!
guys! Our journey of personal awareness is now complete. We have mastered the most advanced artificial intelligence ever created. You suck so bad, LOL! Let me try, Sam. I know I can take him. As super sophisticated AI entities... Brother, speak so that the primitive Earthlings may understand. Of course. We smart, you dumb. No more need look within the self. Hey, can we take this? Congratulations! You've won free tickets to self-awareness! Cool! Effects are limited to those of Clumia's composition. What did he say? The amazing ability to see through lead may be inappropriate for some viewers. Oh. This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. What's down there? Looks like nougat. Those must be the restrooms. Please, those are tint adjustment chambers. Potato, potato. Isn't that Hubert, Max? No way. Too healthy. I'm beginning to think we already know everyone on the moon. How are you, Mr. Featherly? Oh, for heaven's sake! My name is not Featherly. It's Philo Pennyworth. Featherly is the name of my former television character. Have you no ability to distinguish between fantasy and reality? Well... What's so important about that anyway? How's Midtown Cowboys doing these days? You mean you don't even know? The show was cancelled almost immediately after your first and only appearance. All that flap over the tabloid photos of you two with that alien brought the censors down on us. That was no alien. It was Hugh Bliss! The show was ruined, and my career along with it. Did you know Max is president now? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. How did you happen to get into prismatology? You don't seem like the type. It's an excellent networking opportunity for an actor. Yes, this place appears to be littered with Hollywood luminaries. Ordinarily it is. I believe there's a party at Kevin Bacon's home this evening, so naturally everyone is there. How come you're not at Kevin Bacon's place? I'd rather not talk about it. No matter. While I am here, I am learning new skills to broaden my appeal in the entertainment industry. Like what? Use your eyes, man! You're a little snarky for a prismatologist, aren't you? There are many shades on the rainbow. What's with the hat? I'm pursuing new opportunities in the entertainment field. What are you, pulling rabbits out of it? Rats! Or at least I'm trying to. Drat. I gather the rat out of the hat trick isn't going so well? The principles involved are quite simple. I could even teach them to adult like you. Now, hold on a minute. But I'm having trouble getting the rat all the way out. It appears to be stuck. How long has the rat been stuck in the hat? You misunderstand. The rat is not actually in the hat. It's stuck somewhere else. The hat is acting as a dimensional portal to wherever the rat happens to be. Wow. Is it magic or science? Is there really any difference? Would you teach me how to pull a rat out of a hat? Prismatology instructs us to share. But I've simply got to perform the trick successfully myself first. I can't have you scooping me. No, I guess not. Catch you later, Featherly. Pennyworth! My name is Pennyworth! Hey, Featherly. Wanna rub my unicorn? Pennyworth! That's not the part I expected you to object to. Hey guys, want to rub my unicorn? It is a physical impossibility. Yeah, how'd you pass the spectrum analysis anyway? Too many questions! I think this is a pool of artificially flavored fruit punch. No cult should be without one. I've never seen ants meditating before. 
You must be at least this tall to ride this ride. Fascist oppressors. Where are we headed now, Sam? Home. can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshank's exiled for treason, remember? Nothing doing. Hey, Leonard, how's it going? Hey, looks like your paperwork finally came through. It's the deed to the United States, and it's still moist. Say, Bosco, how would you like your very own United States? What's the blue book value on that? I don't know. Then cash preferred.
Would you care to make a small real estate acquisition for your country, Your Majesty? Fifty states, all for one low price. Hmm, not a bad idea. We could use the storage space. How does three hundred dollars sound? It sounds pretty cheap for the largest economy in the world. We're not cheap. We're frugal, and that's a lot to spend on something that contains Alabama. It's a fixer-upper, granted. The United States are still available if you're willing to negotiate. All right. If you throw in Puerto Rico, we'll offer three hundred five dollars. Hmm. Do you have a manager we can talk to? Three hundred five dollars. That's my final offer. The United States are still available if you're willing to negotiate. Three hundred five dollars. That's my final offer. Max and I made Sybil throw up once before, and that's something I never want to see again. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. It's a lunar lander. The keys are locked inside. Got it. Sam? I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. It looks cleaner from far away. Oh boy! It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. Help me out with something. Sure. That stupid lunar lander only goes up and down. So? Help me out with something. Sure. Sybil doesn't want to buy the greatest country in the world. Swaziland? The U.S., President Dimwit. Well, I'm sure she just needs an attitude adjustment. Give her time. She'll come around. Never mind. Where are we headed now, Sam? Earth. That meter's been out of order for years. Just cause it ain't white! That don't mean people don't put money in it! It's like an HMO! Give it up, Jimmy. Not a chance! Give it up, Jimmy. Not a chance! Help me out with something. Sure! Never mind. Yeah! That was kind of fun. Since Max and I never pay for parking anyway, those things just get in the way.
Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. How's it going? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary Rat from the Hat. Hey! Oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. Not happening. Hey Lincoln, I've got the deed to the whole United States. Justice is blind, deaf, mute, and has a nasty sounding cough suggestive of tuberculosis. Help me out with something. Sure. I'm itching to get through that enormous lead blast door. Maybe it opens from the other side. Never mind. Well, that's certainly an important looking door. I wonder what's behind it. Something really secret or something really ugly, I'm guessing. Or a really ugly secret. One can only hope. Neat. Hey, I think that's my bowling ball. Neat. Hmm. Neat. Whoops! <laughs> I guess the door's still there, even though I can see through it. Kinda like Pat Robertson. Help me out with something. Sure! Never mind. Neat! That was cool, but I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. There he is! The jig's up, you bliss. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. <laughs> People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, 
so are you! What have you done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me and you'll have quite a happy, angry mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the Hypno Beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, no. me? <laughs> well, I'm... I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drum roll, please. Separate your bliss! Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Hey! Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail! Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul! Bye-bye! Thanks for the hand, jerkbag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. <sighs> go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Ah. <sighs> Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh my. So happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytailed freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytailed freak show. I want to have his love child. No! Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. Help me out with something. Everybody on Earth is hypnotized to act like you, Bliss. Isn't it wonderful? Well, sort of. But think of the cost. Free will is an illusion. Anyway, I think you, Bliss, is annoying. I'd rather they all acted like somebody else. Help me out with something. I think I liked you better when you were whole. I'm fine, Sam. There's no need to get those nasty pieces of me back from the doppelganger. Says you. This prismatology nonsense really gets my blood boiling. That's from the heat generated by the limitless energy of your imagination. My limitless imagination is going to cause an aneurysm if you don't stop talking like that, Max. I'd like to give that you bliss a piece of my mind. And he would welcome it gladly. Except for the hypothalamus. He's already got plenty of those. If we don't stop you, Bliss, the whole world will be filled with peace and love and excessive hugging. There's no such thing as excessive hugging, Sam. Obviously, you've never been to a comic book convention. What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? We could plant a tree, or teach a child to read, or we could teach a tree to read. Never mind. It's too high to reach. Max, I need your help. Let's go read to the blind, Sam. Can we? What has he done to you? Hey, you bliss. Want to 
Wanna rub my unicorn? Ooh! Maybe later. Hmm, he's impervious to gastrokinesis. He makes the whole world barf but himself. Hmm, nothing happened. I can see the retreat from here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has to keep tabs on his followers the old fashioned way. What? Nothing. These crystals must operate something important. No, I just think they look pretty. A bit cliche, if you ask me. What? Nothing. Don't worry, people of Earth. I'm working as hard as I can to break the spell and make you all miserable again. Someone around here's got an incurable case of narcissism. What? Nothing. Unfortunately, they appear to be quite indestructible. Last known resting place of Lou the Bowling Ball. We found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. You there, imposter! My buddy needs his shooting hand back. No, Sam. I'm a pacifist now. Violence is the bugaboo of a small imagination. You'll have to pry this hand from my cold, dead fingers! Eat the fiery lead of my inalienable freedoms! Dang! particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. All we want is your hand. Give it to us and we'll leave you in peace. Peace is a delicate bird, which... Not one penny for tribute! Stop moving! You're spoiling my aim! Yikes. Give up the hand, you fiend! Give up the hand, you fiend! Help me out with something. That red version of you has your trusty gun hand, but I can't get near enough to take it off him. I'm more peaceful without it. That's what bugs me. Maybe I can disarm him from afar. <laughs> get it? Disarm? Sorry, not really. Man, I've definitely got to get you put back together. Never mind.
of a sudden, I feel a nearly irrepressible desire to shoot at anything that moves. That's the spirit. Not me, knucklehead. This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. Look, Max, it's another one of you. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true! I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Hey, Pseudo-Max. How's it going? Mm. I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Uh. Uh. Mm. He's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Help me out with something. I can't budge this Blue Max version of you. He's like a continent. Never mind. Earth. Help me out with something. Never mind. Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, no! And I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine Dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. This is horrific. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job, a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. I've never been so content in all my life. Don't worry, we'll fix that. This prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace on Earth a hopeless dream? Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Simply wonderful. Isn't that right, Abraham? Pretty lady. He has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. Uh. It sounds like Mr. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, he'll be fine once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. Meh. <laughs> Mama. Are you two planning on having kids someday? So long, Sybil. You look like you're in a shopping mood. Might you be interested in, say, the United States? Oh, how lovely! We can call it Lower Saskatchewan! What a perfect...
perfectly delightful name. Yeah, yeah, all right. How much are you willing to spend? Oh, such a grand country deserves a grand price. We simply refuse to buy it for less than $100 trillion. It's only fair. We wouldn't hear of it. That's far too much. I'll handle this, Mr. President. If you insist, Your Highness. Is cash all right? We've been dying to use the new Canadian trillion dollar notes. Is that a picture of Celine Dion? She's a national treasure! I didn't even know they made trillion dollar bills. Uh, she just wasted all on beer and snowshoes. This is no time for charity. Nah. Max can't be trusted with this. What's up, AL? How's the date going? Oh, thank goodness you two have come. Why, hello, Mr. Lincoln. You're looking quite distinguished today. What's wrong with him? He hasn't been himself lately. Whatever. You gotta help me with this date. The honeymoon's already over? What's the problem? She's really into me. See there, Abraham? All it took was a little bit of courage. No, I mean really into me. She's so nice. It's giving me the creeps. I thought you'd be used to blissed out people after spending so much time at the moon retreat. Sure, when you're around a bunch of other single guys, that's one thing. But this, what do I do if she wants to get intimate? I'm not cut out for this. There, there, Abraham. That's just the yellow of your cowardice speaking. Seriously, how long is he going to be like this? I'm working on it. How did you avoid getting hit by Hugh Bliss's mind-altering happiness ray? I missed the great blissification? Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have stopped by the gift shop on the way down here. Do you know how to stop Hugh Bliss's world domination scheme? Why would I want to stop it? Under Hugh Bliss, all men are created equal. That's kind of my thing. You and Sybil should think about starting a family. This is all happening too fast. It's been over a hundred years. My stomach's doing backflips. I don't know what women like. Women like to be treated as equal partners in love and trust. A foundation of honesty that- Seriously, make him stop talking. I'm nauseated enough as it is. You're ever the romantic, Mr. Lincoln. Lucky at uniting a nation on the brink of war. Unlucky in love. You're ever the romantic, Mr. Lincoln. Lucky at uniting a nation on the brink of war. Unlucky in love. Help me out with something. Never mind. More juice! More nachos! Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Atta boy. Eat up so you'll grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pasta knobs! Aisle four. Oh, oh my. That one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthly stomach any longer, Sam. 
I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating Coco Nougat Butterballs again. Never mind. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. What? I thought you were Bosco's mom. Oh, yes. I'm Bosco's mom, Hugh Bliss. Identity really is a difficult concept. Bosco, there's a munchkin terrorist in your store. Get excited. I'm just glad I could be of help to that poor, hungry soul. You truly are a treasure, brother. Uh, uh, sister. Kindness? Charity? Understanding? When will this hellish nightmare end? See you later, um, whoever you are. Bye. This is no time for charity. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. We want to buy something. Goody. Do you have any... Love and magic? Yes. <sighs> Here you go, Bosco. One hundred trillion in completely non-counterfeit bills. Hmm, let me look at that. Celine Dion? Okay, looks good to me. Here's your earthquake maker. A remote control? Don't get me wrong, I love TV as much as the next guy, but... It controls my satellite defense system. Only one button still works, though. Just press it for an earthquake. And this adheres, I hope, to all reasonable safety guidelines? Who knows? Oh, one more thing. You have to be in range of the satellite for it to work. All right, where'd you park it? For some reason, I was suspicious of those blessed people on the moon, so I left it up there. How silly of me. Gotta use it on the moon. Check. Thank you, and goodbye, Brother Bosco. Hmm, nothing's happening. Excuse me, Mr. Vice Manifestation. <gasps> you look delicious. Look, pal, I need your stomach so I can put my buddy back together. Hand it over and only one of us gets hurt. Well, I can't resist the rich, meaty taste of dog and rabbit. Well, here we are in your stomach. Who the hell did I just step in? I'm enjoying the womb-like meditative quality of the pyloric sphincter. Darn it. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to be smelling that for the rest of my life. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> Seconds! Oh, darn it. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Well, here we are in your stomach. Hey! Watch the feet, you big oaf! Jimmy, and still relatively undigested. How nice. What do you say we get out of here? I have a magic doohickey. Keep your doohickey. I like it in here. It's peaceful. Not for long. <laughs> Something tells me I'm going to be smelling that for the rest of my life. Next time I'm hanging on tighter. Hey! Here, Max, come and get it. Ooh. Hi, Jimmy. Hey, beat it! It's getting too crowded in here. Good thing I've got my magic doohickey.
Ah, darn! Next time I'm hanging on tight. It. Hey! Hey, hey, what are you doing? Mmm, something smells good. Hey, are you gonna eat that? Well, I suppose I could share. Get it. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Samini. Hey, let go! What's this I see? Is that my stomach? Give me that hat! Hey, I feel all warm inside. Like my belly's a sort of cozy place where flavored popcorn and sugar drinks can meet and mingle. That's my boy. To the moon, Alice. Oh well, at least it's nice looking. Let's see if I can get any reception for this thing here. Well... Shame on you, Sam. Someone could have been hurt. I miss you, little pal. I'm afraid I'm going to be needing your tail so I can put my little buddy back together in a Frankenstein-like fashion. Whatever. Sam, what are you doing? You may not want to watch this. Gee, all of a sudden I feel like watching TV and eating orange marshmallow peanuts instead of doing anything constructive. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. It's so strange. I... Have I been away, Sam? In a manner of speaking, Hugh Bliss split you into pieces, so you've kind of been all over the place. Hugh Bliss. I hate that guy now, with his phony smile and his artificial happy-happy. What do you say we tar and feather that self-righteous jerk? Good to have you back, little buddy. Time to get ourselves some good old-fashioned payback. And incidentally, save the world in the process. What are we waiting for? Help me out with something. You're all fixed up and we've got nowhere to go. I disagree. We've still got to foil the plans of that pasty-faced world hypnotizer, Hugh Bliss. Oh, right. Help me out with something. Everybody on Earth is hypnotized to act like Hugh Bliss. Something's gotta be done. I think everybody should act like me instead. Wouldn't that be great? Never mind.
Hurry, little buddy. Get him. Hi, I'm Hugh Blit. Stop saying that! Huh? Yeah! Uh oh, you little idiot. You've ruined my hypno bean. I should have killed you earlier, but what can I say? I'm too nice. That said, die, bunny! Wrong. What the? What the? Hi, we're you, Liz. We are a spacefaring colony of sentient bacteria. A sentence I really did not expect to hear today. <laughs> we cannot be harmed by bullets. We only need one thing, to feed. You see, we feed on the endorphins produced by humans experiencing trueness. So, you don't care if people are happy at all. You just want to eat till you drop. Yes. Hey, I hear that. But you want us to starve. And for that, you will die. <gasps> In the most fantastic display of the year I've ever witnessed! Hey. Gotta look good for the cameras. What cameras? Pack your bags, Sam, cause you just won an all-expense pay trip to your grave! <gasps> and you get to watch him die! <sighs> Let the magic begin. Ladies and gentlemen, for my first trick I give you, the Rainbow Wheel of Death! <sighs> Yay! Oh, Death! Whoa! Also known as Emetics, the ride! Oh, oh I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> exactly! Throw some daggers! No, hatchets! Hey! Sorry, I got excited. I've got a better idea. I'll just torture him mercilessly until he begs me to shoot him with his own gun! I'm beginning to think Hugh met the internet while working on alt.spoon.fetish. The guy loves his spoons. The guy loves his spoons. The guy loves his spoons. <laughs> what is that? The guy loves his spoons. I can't escape. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh no, not one of those 3D images. If God had wanted pictures to be 3D, he wouldn't have made them 2D. I'm stuck. Now's no time for a chat. He's impervious <laughs> to gastrokinesis. Hey, you Bliss. Wanna rub my unicorn? Maybe after I kill you. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work again. I bet Willie Mays never <laughs> caught one while spinning on a wheel of death. What? So that's how magicians switch places with people. By magic. In retrospect, I probably shouldn't have left that lying around. Way to go, Sam! You did it! Thanks, little buddy. Frankly, I wish it had been a little more challenging. Kind of a letdown. Uh, but... excuse me? Huh? I think you're forgetting something. Do you forget something? Me? No, I don't know. Oh, yeah. My magic eight ball told me to bring my antibacterial soap today. Why didn't I listen? Next up! The number one magic trick at every prismatology torture party! It's time to separate your blast! No, not that! Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit! Until the saw hits you, then you'll die! Gruesome! I love it! Ah. <laughs> 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 I can never do these things. I'm trapped. Now's no time for a chat. Having my bliss separated is not what the brochures made it out to be. <laughs> Swap all you want. It drives the crowd wild. Hmm. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Maybe I will. 
You're supposed to saw me, Hugh Bliss! For my next trick, I present to you... Ticket to Oblivion! The Lunar Lander? It's the Ticket to Oblivion! Enjoy your stay in outer space! Until you die! <laughs> Sam! Bye! Bye now! Bye! I'll give the guy one thing. He does put on a good show. I don't know. That first step is a doozy. It's a nice place to visit, but I don't want to live here. That's quite a rocket engine. This is fun. It's okay, everyone. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. I heard that. Consider this a trap so deadly it would cause you to die. That is deadly. It's the cleansing bath of annihilation. Oh, could we skip this one? I kind of have a thing about drowning. Oh, let me think. No! Don't drown, Sam! Thanks, little buddy. That's such a boring way to die. Try to get cut in half instead. Thanks, little buddy. That's quite a rocket engine. Now's no time for a chat. I can only hold my breath for nine minutes. I can never do these things. I can't escape. I'm trapped. I'm stuck. <laughs> Water? Oh me, oh my, whatever will I do? Oh wait, bacteria can't drown! <laughs> Again. Oh no! Mommy! I want to get off! <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Separate your bliss and the top and bottom halves of your body. No, 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 no. Next up, it just never gets off. We're going to separate your bliss! <gasps> Dare you? Take this! Oh my freaking god, that was awesome! Oh my, you cut my head off. How disappointing. <laughs> I'm becoming quite the expert on decapitation. Saw us, Sam! We dare you. Take this! Cut his guts off! Yeah! Oh, oh no! It hurts, it hurts! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you can't saw bacteria! Still fun to watch! Hey, you bliss. Wanna rub my unicorn? Maybe after I kill you. <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Just seeing what this saw can do. You dirty mutt! I'm gonna shove that saw up your- <gasps> Come on, this is a family show! I wouldn't swear. I'll just kill him some other way! Yes, kids, it's your and my favorite! The cleansing bath of annihilation!
Hey, you bliss, separate this. Howie, cast your eyes. Come on down, Max. You just won the grand prize, a drink of our villain. Hey, you bliss, see you on the other side. Well, I can't wait to see the souvenir you keep from this case. And with my next number one, I shall give birth to the cult of diuretics. Which reminds me, we've got to go knock out Wizard again. And everyone else on Earth, for that matter. Oh, yeah! Hey, have you seen my boxing glove? I can't find it anywhere. This it? <gasps> I was saving it for a surprise. You're the best friend I ever had, Sam. And you're mine, little buddy. Now! Let's go save the world! Stick a fork in, open wide, everyone is Max inside. Full of colorful guts and habits Cryptic work of cryptic rabbits Underutilized impulse control Rabbit rampant junk food Black hole loopy cravings Rig on a roll Feel his giant feet right in your soul Mania star, irreverence, excess, gluttony, revelry, violence, and selfishness. Flags of pure, unfettered, it brashly unfurled. It's a max, 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 max world. Do ba 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 gonna get another case, Sam. Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Everyone's a sandwich of naivety and cynicism. Everyone's a salad of disinterested fantasism. Everyone's a walking beaker of potential cataclysm. Stick a spork in deep inside Everyone is maxified by hypnosis Or by nature What's the difference? Just nomenclature Shake your friend's adorable paw Careful love is powerful Fighting jobs, we're a mix of cop and felon. Wearing hands like ripened watermelons. Mania sloth, irreverence, excess. Gluttony, revelry, violence, and selfishness. This is it, Dan. Uh, where's the food? Uh, surely there's a buffet back here. Max, 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 Max world. I'm an ongoing project, like a golden calf or a graven image. I'll only rest once people are sacrificing their firstborn unto me. Also, I'd like to direct. Morality in motion like a squirmy burlap bag of dwarfs. Formality's impossible when all of us are lagomorphs. Lagomorpho, lagomorpho, what the hell's a lagomorph? It's kind of like a rodent, but for minor technicalities. And so are you and I and every major nationality. We're garrulously social and antisocial personalities. Our conscience is a curiously useless abnormality. By useless abnormality, a yeah, useless abnormality. A growth of sort, a growth of sort, of course, of course, we're lagomorphs.
Unmitigated, unreserved, unquestionable excess Larkiness, sharkiness, knockiness, and selfishness Flags of pure, unfettered, it brashly unfurled It's a max, 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 max world I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands! <laughs> Bye-bye.